noisiest neighborhood in the known universe, welcome once again to Smoky Goodness. On a day when we're going back in time, sort of. Shut up, geese. Hey, we're going back to uh, almost the very start of Smoky Goodness, which was almost four years ago. Maybe you haven't even seen it yet, it's so old. It's, it's way, way, way back, you know, page one. But uh, two reasons I'm redoing this. First of all, the beer steamed, hickory smoked, um, sauerkraut laden brats were so good that I gotta do them again. The second reason was that that video was really, really weird and boring. There was nothing to it. I mean, hardly any music, just mumbling in the background. I learned a lot in four years. Anyway, so uh, let's get going. Um, Probably going to show you uh, or give you a tour of everything out here. I haven't decided yet. And uh, give you a shot of that. The uh, next storm, as the weather service is calling it, is about to come in. Winter storm. Oh, and by the way, what's the deal with the local media here, or with the media in general, naming our snowstorms? No. Nah, this isn't the eastern seaboard. There's no reason to call a storm. What was the last one? Q. What? It was a snowstorm. It was wimpy. He only got about five or six inches. Anyway, let's get going. We'll take a tour, I guess. Are we taking a tour? Yeah, we'll take a tour. Stick around, Herb. Hey, look at that. This uh, little no big deal snowstorm is moving in right now. So let's get going. We'll take the tour. So, taking a look at the stars of our show. First off, we have some kielbasa right there. Back here, what is that? Barbecue? Seasoned cheddar brats. Hmm, looks like somebody got a hold of the brats I was planning on using. Hey, I'll make it work. All right, we've got one cup, maybe a little bit more brown sugar. Got some freshly baked deli uh, roll type buns. And of course, as I mentioned, this is going to be a hickory wood smoked recipe, as it was the first time. Got some coconut oil. We've got some kraut, some sauerkraut, and my preferred beer of choice with which to cook with some GKIR. And of course, still inside probably, somewhere, floating around is my well-seasoned cast iron pan, which will be out here momentarily. All right, I'm gonna cut up the kielbasa, get everything ready, let's get going. black iron pan right there. Okay, I've let this pan heat up so much. Put it right over the coals. And of course, this is coconut oil. As you may or may not know, coconut oil doesn't uh, liquefy until it reaches a temperature of about 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Which is why it is a solid right now. And we don't need a whole lot. Just enough to get a good sizzle. And here's the sizzle you've been waiting for. Or maybe not. Quite that hot yet. But it'll get there. Promise. Okay. There it is. There's the sizzle I've been wanting to hear. Hear that? <laughs> that sounds good. A little more than one half cup of brown sugar. Same thing I did last time, it skipped right out. Some sauerkraut. Get the stir. Move it off the coals. Okay. Mm 
And here, as they say, is the magic. Hey, I can't help it. Check this out. Oh, yeah. on the grill, no problem. Okay. All right, we'll be back right after this message. Cheers. Alright, we're about halfway through. 15 minutes has passed. Take a look at that, huh? Ooh, that looks good. And we are going to, as they say, spin this pan around to even cooking. Trying not to spill it all over the coals. Smoky Goodness Barbecue is so good, as you know, the first responders always respond first when they get a whiff of the awesomeness that is Smoky Goodness. But guys, there's plenty for everyone. You have to be patient. You have to wait a little while. Man, they really want some of this, don't they? They are on the way. Code 3. Alright, we're right at 30 minutes. Mission elapsed time. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'd like to finish these guys off directly over the coals, give them that final sear. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys around a little bit. You can tell from the sound these things are making that they are just bursting with flavor. Good sound. It's an even better aroma. And I'm going to move some of these. Actually, I'm going to move all of them off the hard coals for a minute. Shut up, dog. Yeah, you. Shut up, dog. Shut the front door. Dog. You know why they're barking, right? You can smell this, of course. Yeah, you can. But guess what? You still aren't getting it. Alright. Then. One final step to go. God, those smell great. I'm gonna take a few of these uh, bakery fresh deli rolls, I guess you could call them. Toast them very quickly. Not for very long at all. Okay. It's really, really hot. This is going to be really, really good. Hot dog. And like I called it before, Nectar of the Gods. Ooh. 
listen real quick. Uh, no money shot inside. We can do it right here. My son is not feeling well. He's a little under the weather today, so I'm gonna have to eat one of these right in front of you. As they say, oh. Mm. 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 Just as good, if not better, than the first time we did these. Man. Amazing. Easy open peel here. Are you serious? <laughs> the heck is easy about this? Nothing. Ah. Now it's easy open. <laughs> 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 <laughs>